Hello, welcome back. Last time I cooked my two fish slightly, but they got out of it okay. Uh, sea vent, let's do this. Ha! Guppy said there was nothing down this way, but I've already found two starfish. Oh dear, now that I see this, I remember it. So we got these weird objects that are connected by strands of things. Uh, yeah, okay, this is a disastrous stacking challenge. How disastrous, though. That stuff doesn't, like, do anything what to me, right? What mysterious force no. connects these objects? Alright, so Flounder Solo. This is gonna be an interesting little stacking problem. So, two starfish. Something tells me the rest of this puzzle isn't going to be so easy. <laughs> yeah, so I've already gotten those two starfish. I've completed this puzzle before. Uh... You need to move to the right because that pinch requires it. I, like I have a memory. Maybe I'll come back here once I get some vacation time. <laughs> I have several memories. One memory is I never parsed what he likes. It's this bubble stream right here that comes out of this event. <laughs> For some reason, that particular line just pops into my mind at random times. I like that. I'll have to come back here once I get some vacation time. Why is that one so memorable? I don't know, somehow it is. Anyway, so, Flounder Solo, with the moves that he can do, must restack these objects somehow. What exactly is my task? If I'm parsing this right, it is to get this purple thing... Puzzle, huh? I don't know yet. To get this purple thing here. Push it to the right. That moves right, and his pinch is resolved, and he can go. Nothing's wide enough to get it, like, here and pull it. Well, yeah, no, that's not wide enough for that either. So, get purple here. In order to do that, well, I just need to understand what kinds of operations he can do. I can do this. That's right, the feeling of this is coming back to me. This was one of the last ones I solved, wasn't it? Maybe like second last before I had... And this was actually the last puzzle I solved before giving up on... Uh, uh, clogged pipes, what was it called? Yeah, yeah, this is a very familiar feeling. Ooh, and I'm not sure I like it. Okay, so, so. Got this one. Got these two. Uh, <laughs> that's what I have to say. <laughs> so in general, there is the task both of lifting this and of putting it on something and of pushing it left and also of getting it down this stairway. I think that getting it down that stairway part could maybe be accomplished by, okay, yeah, so there's like this reversal stuff I can do here. Let's imagine I have moved purple here. Uh, that is insufficient because it would fall there and this would go right over top of it. I might need several pushers, kind of like, you know, blue pusher here Green pusher here, red, yellow, then that would still end up right there. And they get in each other's way, too. Aha! Okay. Um, this looks very fiddly. <laughs> All right, so I have to make some actions to understand what kind of fiddling is possible. Um, thing is, I'm, I'm just looking at goals right now. Okay, so once again, let's imagine. Blue, four wide, uh, from here to here, with the ability to push it left once. Green, six wide, here to here, here to here, here to here. That one is unnecessary. Well, it's not that it's unnecessary, it's incorrect. Ooh, that's nice and warm. Hmm. Okay. So. 
Nice feeling bubbles come out here. I'll, I'll let you enjoy them properly. These things are weird. I can see why they are classified as super duper secret. Oh, you missed the bubbles. All right, well, I'll put you up there at some point. <laughs> anyway, uh, these, things are these things are weird. So, super duper secret, right? Yes, this is part of the uh, super duper secret path to the laboratory. Uh, where to even start with this? Anyway, okay, so... I'm, I'm once again trying to start at the end. This spot... What happens at the end? Because blue... gets you over this. Green gets you over this. Yellow gets you over this. Red gets you over this. What gets you past this point? Nothing? Do I just have to do something completely different after that? Maybe I'm thinking of this wrong. Like, rather than restack upside down and in the middle. Her. Maybe. Uh... Because of this ledge, I feel like I have something wrong. Flounder having the ability to get down here and underneath the thing to lift it up only helps me if my... If I have something... that I can pull to the right and get under the purple? Which ideally would be, what, green? You know what? Before I worry about that, I know for sure purple has to go over top of this. Let's just try and accomplish that task first. So opening operations. I could stack blue on green. I could stack purple on green. Those operations aren't available to me. I can't move blue from the inside. Blue has as much trouble as purple to move. Getting green to the left now... What would that mean? This would kill me. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. So I could do that without messing with purple if I wanted. Um... I can't get back down here with red where it is. I can move red. Yeah, that loses me nothing. Uh, no, I have to move it further. That loses me something. Now seems to be the time for play. Let's just mess around and see what happens. Okay, can't do that. Can do this and not benefit from it. And get stuck. Okay. So if green keeps moving. And then if yellow makes its way down. Okay, let's restart. Ding ding. Let's move the bottommost one I can move that will help me. So if I green there, and then I attempt to yellow here, the yellow doesn't ultimately make it. And I'm just stuck. So if I do that, and then like... <sighs> do I need to use green or something to pull blue around? Or what? See, that's bad, because now I can't get back under anything. Or at least the most important one. So red probably needs to involve itself somehow, or I needed to interact with yellow before green? What if I did that? What if yellow is the first down? Well... Might not be invalid. Doesn't look good to me, though. Like, what's good about that? Nothing. I could lift green, and then do this, I guess. I 
Maybe there's some way that, like, red and purple could collaborate, like, purple's on top of red and red pokes all the way out and then purple just drops? I'm kind of hoping that at this point, because I'm not sure I can recover these particularly, possibly. Huh. This is a tricky one. Tough puzzle, huh? I can just push purple now. Well, if I can get there. I can. Uh, blue's in the way, but I can drop it. <sighs> now I'm stuck. What if I push blue? I have pushed blue, but now I'm stuck. Probably don't want that, but I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem good. Can't drop blue without dropping purple. Red's probably going to need to be involved. This doesn't look like something I can plan around. <laughs> this just going to be messing around forever until something magic happens. Let's try involving red. Uh, am I stuck up here? Not exactly. But nothing I like is happening now. No, no, no. That's awful. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah. I can't get down, that's the thing. Ah, what? What if I move red first? What if I continue doing that operation? Does this accomplish anything? Let's see, what would be next? Move green? Okay, so I've moved red, green, and yellow each down one. Essentially doing just that. I can't do it a second time the same way, because then I lose access to what's down here. But I can just move green. Okay. I like that. I like that. Maybe I'll come back here once I get some vacation time. Red can hold yellow. I don't know why I'd want to, but it can. I can keep moving red over. This looks bad. Um. Blue, you're hard to use. Blue is propped up. Purple's moved over. So prop green with yellow here. This... there are things I like about this. This is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, it got bad. Yeah, I don't like that. If yellow could move left, maybe I could do something? Yellow moved left. Maybe I can do something. Hmm. Like what? Yeah, I don't know. Uh. Uh. See, no, this needs to go in here to pick that up. And then just a whole lot of nothing is happening. Right? There can't be that many combinations. Oh, hang on, something's happening. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Sure they can. Okay, so a thing moved. Maybe that was good? I've lost red, that's probably bad. Doesn't sound very good to me. I don't think I can do anything with purple anymore. Could I elevate green? No. Can't get under it. Unless... Oh no, that doesn't do it. Okay, so I think I've lost... Certainly doesn't look like I've won. Um, okay. We did it. <laughs> did we? I have no way to evaluate if anything I did there was productive in any way. This is one of those puzzles that gives zero insight into whether I'm making progress or not. Huh. Okay, so let's measure by the fact that I lost red there. This feels like a preview of what Pearl Sort is going to feel like. If I ever dare to actually give it a real attempt. I'm still acting like I'm going to. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. See, I'm not stuck exactly here, because I can do that. Why would I want to, though? Red can move. Would I... Would I want it to? I guess green could move now. Would I want it to? How would I tell? No, I'm just back in the state I was. Nothing's under purple. Okay, so... What is the mechanism by which purple elevates first? It lifts... I drop something between, and I stick it under it. So green can do that, easily. Yellow cannot do that easily. So if I were to start with green... Push it over. Lift green. I would then desire to Ooh, do a yellow that's operation. Nice and warm. Some sort somehow. How would that work? Uh, green's gone. Maybe that's not a disaster. It seems bad. I don't think I like it. Okay, um... Ooh, that's nice and warm. <clears throat> I wish I understood anything about the future state of this puzzle, but it's just, it's designed so that that's impossible. But, maybe I can think of hypotheticals. So let's say that I could teleport this object here right now. I'd occupy those spaces, I'd... Sure, push this to the left. Let's say those were also just ditched down Aha! somewhere. So I'm in interacting only with purple and red. Here, let's, um... Let's do it this way. Pretend purple... is here. So I push the both of them, purple is here. I push you over, and purple is there, all locked up. Therefore, I'd have Ooh, to hear. Flounder, that's nice and warm. enjoy this for a moment. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aha! 
Another pop. Ah, uh, no. So, okay, so that had a bad outcome. What else could I picture? Another thing I could picture is that red has some form of floor support here. So I push it this way, it's still up. I push the purple over and we just sort of keep on doing that until purple is here. Could like it that. have that much floor I'll support? I'll come back here once I get some vacation Is that time. possible? Uh... We did it! Okay, so yellow has to be left of green for that part to be possible, and I'd like that to happen while blue is lifted. Okay, so if I were to yellow first, twice. Mmm, nice. We get purple, then green down here. That's an opportunity to shove blue over here. Which might not be a bad thing, except now I can't go anywhere. So if I defer my blue shoving, well then what am I even doing? Nothing. Nothing is happening. I certainly don't want that. This. Okay, so swap yellow and green so that that's up. Can I now shove blue the way I wanted to? Why did I want to shove blue? So that it becomes a lever for purple? But green and yellow are in the way. Well, I can do this. Uh... Get to those at the same time. Because that drops. I'm trying to put something in here. Could that something be blue? Maybe if red pulled it over? Now I'm stuck. Okay, I did the uh, goal as stated. My my stated goal was a bad one. Uh, go away, red. Red can't go away. Not all the way. Is partial go away good enough? No. Um. Yeah. So a puzzle where it's impossible to evaluate whether any progress is helpful. Just means I'll flail around for a long time and maybe someday something will happen by accident. I think that's how I solved this the first time. Yeah, this is what Pearl Sort's gonna be like. Okay, so to direct my flailing somewhat. Let's try operations where first boost purple with green. and see if that can be productive. That's nothing. Not again. That's death. That's nothing. Okay, first boosting purple with green doesn't appear to go anywhere because I don't have a next step that I can make here as far as I can tell. So, let's first Got boost purple with yellow. 
I can't get it under there. How did I ever boost that? Okay, so keep yellow and green in the same relative order. Then I can boost purple with green and boost green with yellow. Okay, that feels like something. What about blue? I don't know. Blue's just in the way, always. Do I want to bring red over? I can do that and get back in. I can do that, but not get back down. Right, yeah, I've run into this Ooh, problem before. That's nice and warm. Can't go anywhere. Can pull, can do this, then I can go somewhere. But... Not there. Unless this is ditched. Okay, what if that's ditched? Uh, then that falls. Okay, same problem as always. If I lift, nothing really happens. So do I interact with red now? Not that way. I can miss blue. Why would I want to? I wouldn't. That's the answer. So, where did I go wrong? It is impossible to tell. Mm. This is not pleasant. I feel like I should take whatever opportunity I get to push purple left. I don't currently have one of those. Wait, how did I do this? With green, okay. Okay, I do currently have one of those. So purple's been pushed left. One. I could go two. What if I go one? And then maybe... Okay, I can't stick blue in there because it blocks me. Could red solve that problem? I don't see how. And this is a bunch of nothing. This is also nothing. That drops my purple. Okay, so if I shove purple over, then it seems like I need to shove green over because otherwise what else am I gonna get in there? Blue? Maybe. What if it was? Red can't help get blue in there. Blue could move this way, which again seems useless. Oh, this is tremendously unpleasant. Well, green's just down there now. Where it's never gonna help anybody again. Mm hmm. Yeah, I kinda hate this. Okay, so. None of this is new territory. I am having actively a real bad time here. Well, there are only five objects. It can't be that hard to get out. I absolutely cannot imagine learning anything from resolving this puzzle. I'm gonna look at my old solution and just repeat that because like, why would I do anything else? I don't, I don't see any reason to do anything else. All right, got my old solution on another screen here. And uh, first thing is my my goal was wrong. Purple is not the one that comes over here, and that's why I couldn't figure out how to get it down there. It's green. We did it. Green's the one that I want. Apparently, my first step is without altering anything else. 
to move that red thing to the left as far as I can. So leave everything intact except just push red left. All the way here. Next thing after that... Uh, blue moves left, green moves left, yellow moves left. Okay, so once I have that shape, yellow continues to the left to go there, apparently. Then what happens? Red goes right to form a little stack here. Mm, Flounder enjoys nice. some bubbles for a moment while I see what's going on. Green moves right? Why? Okay, if I say so. So pull it as far right as I can go, to some extent. This is black magic. I'm just following the set of instructions that was created by my past self here. Uh. Uh. Yeah, how would I have ever figured out any of this? Yeah, move green down to move it up. Sure, that's totally intuitive. And like, what is this disaster? So I pull that up there, and let me guess, I push blue left? I do. Okay, that's cool. And then purple creates a platform green can slide across. And am I done? That is where red ended up. Apparently I made a little adjustment to yellow to put it here? Alright, if you say so. And then the rest just kind of works? That doesn't look right. I think I need to move green farther first. So yellow holds purple for the duration of this, then it moves... Is that necessary? I guess so. Okay, gross. What an icky puzzle. I don't like anything about this. I wonder if there was another way that was cleaner. Oh, I have to continue pushing because he can't just leave because there's an object in front of him. That was a tough puzzle, but perseverance always pays off. He could have just asked me to move. Well, he did not. Okay. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, I didn't like anything about that, but he got me some starfish, and you know what? Yeah, this is, this is one case where- Oh, uh-oh! So we got another new mission here. Okay, my, my task has grown. Oh, I recognize that from the thumbnail. That's one we haven't done yet, and this is one of the puzzles I'm most worried about. We're gonna have to do it twice in two different versions. Oh, oh no. This is not the happiest of discoveries. Okay, so let's uh, do this picture at least. Alright, happy fun jigsaw time. Agent T doing something. This is new. So that's nice. Ugh. Well. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm glad I at least had the option of opting out of that, but... Uh, I don't feel the best about having taken it, but just... Uh. It's like, that puzzle is the pearl sort that actually went into the game, is what it feels like to me. Am I not missing some turtle parts here? Oh no, just this. Not as much as I thought. Okay, there's some text here. Uh, so, Agent T in the archives. Phil, yes, you go there. That's, that's a turtle fin part thing. The. Yeah, top parts of those text will, uh, 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 characters will not be visible. That's fine. This looks topish to me. I can't actually tell though. Okay, so I'm seeing this rock texture. That can link up. It can. Um, is that foreground rock? Okay, this is definitely bottom. I can tell by the way it is. Maybe not like all the way bottom, probably up here or even up here maybe. 
that could connect to my turtle in some way or another. Maybe here? No. Maybe here that line could almost follow. Okay, a bookshelf on the ground. Yes, and maybe a little farther over. A bookshelf still on the ground. Okay, I'm not actually examining every piece. I'm just doing this thing where I sort of scan some of them and therefore probably miss the one that I'm looking for. Um, this is down on the ground. Okay, that connected to her. Good. You. You're the piece I needed. Yes, okay. So those are connected. Um, you are totally up in the air. Probably here. That's my assessment. It could be wrong, but for now, it's what I think. That looks like it could connect. It does not. All right, foreground rocks. Let's do some of those. Or like floor things. Okay, that was a floor thing. This might be at the bottom. Okay, what are you? Will I be able to tell? Not really. Uh, foreground rock and stuff. Mm -hmm. The lighter stuff is on the right. This might go here. It does. Okay, so that's a binder. The upper right of a binder. You? Yes. There might be more of those on the floor. There may be different foreground rocks, but this looks pretty plausible as... Uh, okay, those don't connect. There are several binders on the floor. Alright, anything that looks like a binder on the floor. Let's... Uh, get pieces of such a nature together. How many could there be? Wait, hang on. I just exchanged one... this one. I don't think those connect, but it's hard to tell. Alright, binders on the floor. Maybe this is on the right? Like, all the way on the right? This can go left. That's part of a fin, so no, it cannot. Okay, so I have full width. That's part of a binder. Um, yeah, a lot of binder pieces, but many of them don't seem to be the same binder. Okay, this is ye... No, that's... Yes, okay, those connect. Except they don't, but, but they do. Uh, you totally go here. Okay, so you look like you might be there, and you are. Okay. Other floor things. Still don't know how far this f down this floor goes. This could be the bottom of the puzzle. Uh, is there anywhere else reasonable for this to go? Here? No. Here, maybe. Alright, so, stone textures. Just down here, generally. Unstone textures go somewhere else. Hmm. Uh, stone textures, down here. Like, how many do I have? That looks like a shadow. This shadow? Yes, that shadow. This is part of a binder. Not this binder, though. Maybe it's at an edge like this. Well, I mean, it could be there if there's enough stone to fill in that space. Like, the piece that goes here should be distinctive enough, if I can spot it. Are you, perhaps, very lower left and connected to this? No. No, that's not right at all. This is the piece that goes there. I found it. Okay, not finding anything that goes down below this, but maybe I still will. It doesn't seem like that. Well, but then what are all these? Hmm. Alright, so darker colors over here. It's not that. Oh wait, hang on. So this, this did connect down at the bottom, and then this just did, and I just... Okay, there we go. There we go. 
It does go at least that far down. That looks like about as far down as it probably goes. Okay, lighter color here-ish. Medium color. Uh, okay, there there is another binder visible on the floor somewhere. It's you. No, it's not. You're somewhere else. Are you connected to this? You are. There's another binder on the floor. How's that going to work? Something here. Hmm. Oh, it's here. That's part of it. Good. And the rest is going to be... Well, I'll know it when I see it, probably. In theory. It's not this. Like, it's a piece that looks kind of vaguely like that. This one's coming together, whatever it is. Yeah, I have a feeling this is upper right. And this might go... Yes, it did. That's text, isn't it? Or what? what's this? This is something protruding into this piece, but all the text is done, so it must be something else. Wait, hang on, that's a label. That's that piece that I'm looking for. Okay, great. Okay, so that appears to be bottom of puzzle. I'm going to say this is probably upper right. It could be something else, but it feels like upper right to me. Okay, so... Um, can I follow any of the bookcases that are connected to you? I say going off and doing something completely unrelated. Uh, left bookshelf there. What does that even look like? This? Not exactly. Yeah, so that, like, blurry dark background is back there. Found a piece. Okay. So that's the top of a bookshelf in the very background. Could I identify such a thing? Not at that angle. This could be the top of, like, this shelf if it's over about here-ish. This, this is a very plausible spot for this piece. Um, you get together that way. This is ceilingy stuff. This is wow. <laughs> this is ceilingy stuff. This is ceilingy stuff. Um, sort of. Sort of. Like these. These connect somehow. They did. That connected to something. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, things are happening. Could you perhaps be the top of this shelf? You're... N if you're there, you could be. That's the only way you could be. But that's a... That's a plausible... No, it's not. It has to go to the right, at the very least, some. Okay. Aha! Big connection. Nice. Would you happen to be in here or so? Yeah, you would. Okay. If I can find a connecting piece somewhere in this place, like the one that goes here should be distinctive enough. Unless it's this. Right, this will tell me whether that's that way or the other way. It's the other way. Okay, so this is upper right. Knowledge has been gained. Those clearly connect this way. They don't. They looked like they did, but they don't. Um... Okay. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. That's definitely part of the same thing. Is it like this? It is. Neat. Where in the composition is that? I don't know. Hmm. You connect that. And you might be here. You are. Okay. 
This might be here. It's not, but it's there. Close enough. This might be here. It is. Um, how about the piece that goes here? Could it be you? It could and it is. Ah, this goes here. This, this totally goes here, right? Yes, good. Okay, getting there. Not too much left to go. Uh, so what's with this piece? Hmm. I think that connects vertically to you. Ah, upper left. Okay, great. Um... Okay, that happened. Uh, these look related, but they are not connecting. What's oriented like that? This is, but like, what is that? And then this is here. Still no. Okay, I guess that's even farther up, somehow. Uh, oh, that's a good connection. Okay, nice. I guess the only way for that to work is if this is here and this is here, or this could be even higher up. What if it were here? It's not. Okay. Uh, you, two by two thing, are gonna have to somehow get over here because that's clearly your home. It's the only two by two place that exists, right? Apparently not. You're somewhere in here? Yes, you are. All right, cool. Uh, this is up here. I can tell by the red rock. This is up here. I can tell by the red rock. Is this red rock? It is. So there's got to be a little more red rock somewhere around. There's something resembling it. There's some. It's so far in the background it just sort of looks like a blue fog. But I think it's this um, up here. No, it's not. Okay, um, wait, where could you possibly go at this point? There, okay. Well, confirmed. Where do you go? Here? Yes, you do. This is totally part of that shelf. I know it is. Just, it refuses to be. Okay, there it went. You're here. You're maybe here? You are. I guess there's another shelf over on the right? Okay, you went there, there is, it looks like that, and the puzzle's done. Okay, neat. Okay, looking through the archives. Cool. Um, so, eight more starfish total to get. I think there are none here or here, so this is, again, going to be familiar territory. Then there's none here or here. There's a bunch here, a bunch, uh, some here, and some here. Uh, one of these two is going to be my scary level that we saw a preview of a moment ago. No, that's a different one. One of these is going to be that scary level. One of these is going to be another scary level. <laughs> Got a lot of scary levels still coming up. There are not a lot of levels, but most of them are scary. Alright, see you next time for Agent Virgil on Ice.